Okay guys, so if you have your book cover done, use your imagination, pretend this is decorated, and you're ready to put the pages in, here is what you need to do. Take five or more pages of this nine by 12 inch paper. You can take more if you're going to do a lot of drawing. Fold it in half very nicely. And you can take this, it's called a bone folder, and you can use it to really get this edge nice and crisp. So you've got your five pages or more. Center it inside your book. Some of your pages will fit exactly. Some of them might have a little overlap like that, depending on what kind of paper you choose. You chose. Pick a tack, poke it right in the middle, and then one at the top. You're going all the way through your paper and your cover. One at the bottom, and then one in between each. You can do more or less than five if you want. Five is just fairly easy because you can do one in the middle and then the top and the bottom. So they're about like that. And then you'll need some thread. There are lots of thread choices. Pick whatever color you want. And so I've got some black here. And do your wing span long. So fingertip to fingertip. Cut it. And you'll need a needle thread the needle and when you tie it you're gonna need a nice big knot so I'm going to try to show you how to tie a nice big knot uh, if you can't get it to tie a really big knot you can just tie a bunch of knots over and over so thread the needle which for some people is very tricky which apparently I'm gonna have trouble there's a tiny little hair Let's try that again. Okay, thread the needle. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. After you've got it threaded, fold the thread in half so that both ends meet here. So you've got the two ends like this. And then the needle is in the loop part down here. Okay, to make a nice big knot, your two threads are together. Make a loop like that. And then this tail, go around and around and around several, 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 several times. So it's wrapped around it, and then pull. slide them close together and you should have a big knot then. Okay, then you pull out one of your tacks that's on the end. Keep the other ones in. They're holding your pages in place. Put your needle through till it catches on that knot. Pull your next tack out. But your thread is on the back so you got to go through the hole that's on the back. Your other and you keep going, pull that one out. They're holding it in place, see everything is lined up. If your tacks have fallen out, then it might be a little tricky. You might have to wiggle your needle. So you go over, under, over, under. So it's gonna look something like this. I'm gonna pull the last one out here. So it's got a bit of thread and then a gap, and then a bit of thread and a gap. Same thing on the other side. So now you go back through it. This will fill in the gaps. So I've got it that way. Flip it. This one will fill in this gap. Pull it tight. Flip it. Fill in this gap. Pull it nice and tight. Fill in this last gap here. And then to tie it at the end, you take your needle and go through this thread and then through this loop that you just made and pull it up towards the top. So go under the thread, through the loop, pull it tight. About three or four times. Under the thread, through the loop, pull it tight. And then you just trim this and you can trim your inside one. Trim this extra. And there you go, you have a book all bound. Good luck.